it's loading. Hold on. It loads, then uh, the Streamlabs won't pick it up. So hello, everyone. Welcome to Dark Screen Simulator. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Just give it a moment. They warn you that uh, it can take a little bit to load in. Hello, hello. Let's go. So, hey, Gibbles. I can't believe you've never heard of Dark Souls. It's such a famous game. But yeah, Souls-like is uh, the same as being very, very difficult. I forgot to turn on my headset. I did. I was wondering why it was so silent. <laughs> really? Ah, yeah, I'm in the business, isn't it? Um, Dark Souls is a game, well, you have lots of monsters, lots of bosses. Um, it is very difficult and basically you need to collect all the souls. But if you die, you lose them again. You have to basically start over. I'm not an expert on it because it's just, I don't have the patience to get good. Let me put it that way. But uh, that's where the term souls like comes from, where you basically, if you die, you ha yeah, it's bad. It's really bad. I mean, it's not a complete do-over, but close. It is very, very hard. That's where the term souls like comes from. That's a difficult. They made it. They made it. They were. They made a game, a new game, so hard that people started using it as a term for extremely difficult games. Well, it is also a type of game. It's not just any game. I mean, can we really call uh, the Lion King? Like the old game. Can we call that Souls like? I don't know. Let, let's ask Edgar when he shows up, Sean. But anyway, hello everyone. Welcome to Sengoku Dynasty. I like the uh, the intro. Um, I have to be honest, this one caught me a little by surprise. I knew the game was coming. I knew of the game. I had to, you know, I had requested the game. I've gotten all the pictures ready. But I had no idea it was coming out today in early access. They hadn't really done any early announcing. They also they haven't done any playtests that I've seen. Or maybe did I miss them? No, I don't think so. Well, it is also from the publisher Toplitz Productions, who is the developer of Medieval Dynasty. Not to be mistaken there, we've seen that mistake happen with Wild West Dynasty, which I also published. Uh, so I might have to go back to that one sometime. Yeah, it's. I think it's three-person co-op. Uh, they also have a... Let me see. They just posted a rope map. So we're in very early access here. That's what I've seen. Let me see. I did save it, but I have a lot of pictures. The hell are you? Oh, here you go. At the bottom. Okay, first step. So they, they basically say in the next month. There's no real setting. I'll also post it on the Discord uh, in a bit. Let's see. First steps. Gathering feedback, hot fixes, and quality of life. That honestly sounds like playtest stage to me. So we'll have to see how this goes. Uh, then we get the planting seeds. Farming. New NPC village. New quest. Does that mean there's no village yet? Ah, we'll see. Uh, personal growth is the third one. Perks, status effects, spirituality. The fourth one is hero's journey. So starting classes, a female character, and replayability. Okay, so later on we'll get a female character. But I think they're doing that with Medieval Dynasty as well, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> and after that, it's like somewhere in the future... Combat? Wait, there's no combat yet? Really? Random events, late game, okay, fair enough. More NPCs, family and romance. I have to, I'm, um, after reading the roadmap, I'm actually curious what's in the game right now, because this is a dynasty game. Uh, romance and having kids. 
seems to be a must. Is it just me? Tell me if it's just me. Let's start a new game, shall we? Like they they kind of, they have this list of things that are coming, and I'm just crossing it off. Like, okay, what's left over that's in the game right now? But we'll see. We'll we'll find out. <laughs> Surely there's some kind of building. <clears throat> oh, by voice. Um, we'll see. No, it's just not. Yeah, thanks, Sheldon. I feel better. So there's no combat, there's no romance, there's no family, there's no female character yet, but there's multiplayer, but what can we do? <laughs> We're gonna find out right now. Uh, loading's a bit long yet, but that's the thing they can hopefully fix in the future. I was just starting to wonder if that deer was a real deer or something. <laughs> Ooh. それから故郷の村を離れ一月道なき道を歩き続けた時には盗賊に出くわしあるものは病を患った行く先々で見る光景が戦の恐ろしさを物語っていた夜になると収穫できなかった畑のことを思い出すそれに家族のこと子供たちや村に住む人々のこと置き去りにしてきたご先祖様や村の神様には許しを請うばかりただ願うは願うはあの伝説の平民の持ちたる国でまた家を建てて平和に暮らすこと漁師たちに手を貸
already. But yeah, I was just wondering if we could take that plank. Take that stone. And methinks that I just the setting of the sound. That's what I thought. Uh, I think we can turn the environment down a bit. That cricket is... Uh... Okay. Let's try it like this. Open the quick slots and just quickly. Uh... Okay, so if something breaks or you throw it, it gets replaced by the same item immediately. That's handy. Very much like medieval dynasty. Refugee clothes. Yeah, there you go. There's lots of stones here. Grab some. Oh, there's another torch. Nice. Looking good, looking good. Another crate. That is neat. Oh, muted just in time. Okay. Uh What's what command he did? It's a little delay, so I'm not quite sure what you mean. Just trying to see what I can grab, what not. We have a max weight we can carry. I can see. Find other survivors. Well, I didn't see any on the beach. Um. Hackler. Hi, right, quest. Uh, so, where do we uh, craft? You. I'm gonna make two. Um. Okay, so I got an axe. Let's go. Oh, that you mean in chat? I thought you meant in game. Yeah. Cut down a tree. Hit it with an axe. <laughs> um, yeah, right. Hit it with an axe. Got it right. No, there are many types of trees. Some will require better quality tools. Fair enough. Uh, law can be pronounced further with an axe or an ad. I still don't know how to pronounce this. Is it an adzi? An ads? An ads. <laughs> and thanks everyone for the 10 likes so quickly. It's a big help, honestly. Um, or simply picked up and walked by a whole inventory slot as it is heavy. Fair enough. Uh, locks can be dropped again for further processing by carbonation. Debark it. Um, okay, so with an axe you get sticks, with an adze you get a bark. A debark lock will create firewood with an axe and a planks with an adze. Adze. Someone help me out here. <laughs> Someone go to Google and ask how you pronounce that. <laughs> I'll figure it out after the stream. Uh, using a carpentry station can help you speed up the process. No debark lock. Still usable for building or crafting, 
There's also an uncommon paper mulberry tree that provides special paper bark required in the paper making process. Okay, that's cool. Alright, this is a Japanese red pine conifer. Okay, that got me stick and some feathers. Um. Okay, so let me see here. So this is the bark. And this is a lock. And what do we need for the hammer? Any log. Okay, hammers allow you to build, place in relatively flat surface outside of neutral villages. Some structures will be built immediately after placement, while others will be ghosts until you deliver resources. You can even move any ghosts or structures, except fields, at any time. Oh, that's awesome. That's what I've been missing in Medieval Dynasty, where you had to break down your placement if you didn't like it. Or demolish ruined structures. Bad joke. What, what else can we... Oh, wrong button, sorry. Uh, what else can we make? A knife? Pickaxe? Oh, that's the... Oh, that's the ad. I thought it was like a thing that... When Valheim it is, it's a thing to set down. A yari? Spear? And straw. Used for weaving. Alright. Uh, we need sticks, actually. Hit this? No. Worth a try. Uh, but this is a dead end, and this is where we spawn, so let's go. Okay. A lot of rocks on this beach. Let's grab some. Surely it's gonna come in handy. Curious. I can hit it, but I don't think I'm doing damage to it. I don't see a beam or anything. Oh, that's mean. Don't take his sheep. Take your own. <laughs> Echo. Wait, what's a kama? I, nothing I can make yet, I don't think. So let's just grab it. Probably we need to... Huh. I, want, I can't grab them. Can't grab those. Come in. Hmm. Oh, weird. Echo, it's you. Uh, you're alive. When the ship went down, don't move, you're hurt. I'll be alright, I'm, I'm cold. Stay here, I'll find a way to help. A campfire for starters, then maybe a tent to protect you from the wind. I'll need tools to set it up, but I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'll see you next year. Why can't I grab you? It's weird. Can I grab these stones? Yeah. We need to, I need to hold it. Okay, that's weird, because the other ones I was able to... Maybe I held it back. So, okay, I figured it out. Aw. Ah, you failed. <laughs> no sheep for me. <laughs> that was just funny. Okay, there we go. Got some grass.
wine berries. And Sheldon's become a member. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for your support. Found some gobo. Sheldon, you want some gobo? I don't know what gobo is. And me thinks that they added a lot of realistic items that I'm going to have to look up. The intro, by the way, was awesome, I thought. Like, the voice acting was really good. It's starting to get a bit dark. Might want to hurry up with that fire. I'm very tempted to just harvest everything. Okay. Uh, hammer. Need a hammer. Open menu. Demolish. Basic structure. Um. Well, I don't have a cooking pot, so we're gonna have to do with this. There you go. A tent. How are a container? How should you store items? A tent. Oh, I mean, I assume... No? I guess not. I thought I would build it over her, since that would make sense to me. Get out of the fire! Get out of the fire! <laughs> Can I not? I thought I'd... You always want to build... Well, you don't want to cover the fire, because you'll inhale all the smoke. You always want to build the open side towards the fire. There, that works. I think I need some more sticks, though. Oh wow, you've been hoarding. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I built my own tent too. Do we have to share? <laughs> Thank you so much, Sheldon. Hey, Belfagors. Does this have a good build limit? I don't know. I just started. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Let's attack to her. It's you again. Are you feeling better now? Yes, thank you. I'm going to be all right. I have some fresh fish here. Let me cook it for us. That, that would be great. Uh, what do we do now? We had supplies in the ship. Now we have nothing. When do we move on? Uh, we don't move on. We can't spend our whole lives running away. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, look around. There's fertile land, tall trees, fresh water. Ooh, I haven't found water yet. I didn't see any soldiers guarding them from ordinary folk. I believed in the legend of the peasant kingdom and I don't intend to stop now. Maybe you're right, but how do we start? Is this even a village? Over here or just ruins? You've just increased your dynasty's legend level. It's a measure of your dynasty's prestige and respect in Nata Valley. Level it up by completing the most important quests and constructing special projects you encounter in the world. Okay, that sounds pretty cool, actually. Dynasty legend is the limit of villagers you can manage at the same time. There are also a lot of technologies and recipes that are unlocked the higher level your the higher your level gets, so it's essential to your progression. I must say this is already looking like a very good start. <laughs> I'll not compare to other games. I'll not compare to other games. <laughs> Honestly, it's unfair because it's a different developer. I don't know how big this developer is. Uh, Super Kami. I don't know any other, other games. Uh. Oh, 
Go to the nearest village. No, I'm curious. Hold on. I'm curious. The link is it the lincolnberry? I didn't know they grew in Japan. I know lincolnberries from like the Nordics. Wineberry. I have a raw fish and I have meat. Maybe can I cook those on the fire? Let me see. Cooked meat, cooked egg, cooked, cooked fish. What's this? Oh, gobo. Uh. There you go. There's no instant. Uh, I'll, I'll set the effects lower in just a moment. Um. Yeah, in Medieval Dynasty, there was an option to set it to instant. I haven't seen that option yet. Let me let me see real quick. First, I think we need to turn this down a bit. The cooking here. Um, okay, we can turn off the hut. That's good. No, I don't see. Uh, I don't see an option for it, but it doesn't matter. I'm already happy that like, I can make multiple. It looks good, doesn't it, Ember? Let me um, make sure I have some weapons, actually, just in case we run into something. Um... Get more food for yourself and your dynasty by hunting all kinds of animals. With spear or bow. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the bow. Uh, look for them in the wilderness. Approach them carefully. Crouching allows you to get closer, especially from behind. The ba I'm, I'm <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, the basic wooden spear can be thrown or used in melee, melee if the opponents decide to fight back. It's gonna be some kind of epic deer fight. Uh, keep some spear spares in your inventory. I thought that was a good idea. Oh, yeah, I need a knife to skin them. Meat will eventually rot. Okay, so cooking even stale raw meat will provide you with fresh cooked meat. That's good to know. That means if you um, if you want to keep them fresh as long as possible, you basically let them get old until they're not yet rotten. Then you cook them, and then it starts over. Uh, speaking of food, that's the gobo. Let's put some food on. Oh, that saves you. I just realized. I have a bottle, too. Fish you could have. Uh, so I meant to say I realized that... Um, oh, I can't put that on the hot bar. That is. Yes, what was I saying? I realized that whatever you put in the hot bar goes out of your inventory. So that saves a lot of space. Maybe I should leave the I'm grabbing this just make straw with that there you go yeah I, w I have to say Amber I was a little worried when I read the um, the roadmap they just released because everything mentioned in it was basically what I was expecting of the game. <laughs> so I was like, remember what's gonna be in the game then? If that's all not in the game yet. But... Clearly already a lot. There's a boat there. There's someone here? Yes. Hello sir, can I ask you a question? <laughs> I have my spear back, thank you. 
Oh, now, hold on. It's not, uh, can I just stab mm. you with it? Mm. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Sorry, the things like this always tickles my funny bone. There you go, I need a knife. It just gave me meat, not not skin, I don't think. Oh well, nine meat, nice. Okay. Um, sir. Wait, where where'd he go? Oh there he is. Fisherman. Taro. What do you want? Is this the peasant kingdom? Isn't that just a... You know, are they really calling us that? So it's not... It sure is now like, like the sound of it, the peasant kingdom. Fair enough. I think we deserve it. I haven't heard of any province that would shake off the lord. Any other province that would shake off the lord. Okay, good. Everyone, we found it. <laughs> There are many mining deposits, so we are in Nata Valley right now. And they contain stone, iron, or clay, or ice. The bigger the deposit, the better quality pick action. Mine it. After hitting it a couple of times, you will completely destroy it. Note that iron ore deposits are pretty rare, but there's a chance to find them in caves. Ice deposits are available only during winter. Yeah, fair enough. I don't think I have a um, pick action. Uh, I'll take that one too, and I should honestly have just made some more, but I need logs to do that. Mm. Put the building hammer on six and take action on four. I just realized I already had an axe. That's fine, it'll break sometime. Animation is really smooth. Empty your hands. Okay, nothing to steal. I mean, nothing to loot in the boat. That's a fisherman. Uh, this is all stone. I'm okay on stone right now. But I'll know where it is. Okay, this looks like it was once a village. Yeah, they stood up to the lords all right. Jesus. Not a house left standing. Scavenger. Let me see. We almost died in the shipwreck. Can you help us settle? In the other villages around? What are these ruins? That like that sounds like a good start. Ruins, you say? This used to be my home. Uh, this is a to Toshishi. Toshichi? Yeah, Chi, probably. Um, then Enjiro, my neighbor, started a rebellion, an alliance. Iki was formed between the villagers of the valley against the Lord Rumina. Oh, that sucks. Uh, can you help us? All oh, right, that was you, shipwrecked. I saw how you cared for your friend. Really touching, I must say. I may have misjudged you at first glance. Why? I'd be glad to welcome you here if it were up to me, but it isn't. New settlers need permission from a village council. You mean there's a council in charge of these ruins? <laughs> of course not. But the village is formerly still here? I guess so, but... No, you might be onto something. The village is formerly still here. But there's no council to keep us out. I mean, you're walking a fine line here, but I guess no harm can come from it for the rest of the valley. Uh... What a bet. <laughs> I can see harm coming miles away.
it it does have a different style but keep in mind that often medieval looks are quite gray Um, so if you have a medieval movie or something, there's often a bit of a gray overlay on it because that's simple how it was always done. You're right though, it is. This is much brighter in color. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, we're, we're doing this. The abbot in the temple could have some object objections, you know. Oh, sorry, I was looking at her. She clearly has a quest. Your plan's so wild, it could just work. Okay, where do we start? The bell tower is in ruin. It's the heart of the village. Without it, it's just a piece of burned out land. I can rebuild it? It would be difficult, but lucky for you, I found the old bell in the ruins. I meant to sell it, but it's too heavy to carry. Yeah, fair enough. I can give it to you, but first I need to see that you can actually manage all the woodwork. Well, that's fair enough. It should look nice, so make sure you have a proper answer to make the plank smooth. Is it? Oh, yeah, hold on. Clearly the village. Uh-huh, yeah, it's the fire. Hold on, I see it. Uh, I see it flicker. Let me see here. <laughs> oh my god! New games, new games. Absolutely no problems at the start. And then suddenly... Sorry, I didn't have time to test it uh, before. Hmm, interesting. Okay, we'll have to turn it down. doing anything wait where's the settings oh here no that's the anti-aliasing sorry um there's no overall settings no i guess not try something Okay, that's better, that's better. Wow. <laughs> Take that, 3080 Ti. <laughs> okay, I think this will work too. You guys shout if it's if it starts uh, bothering you again. <laughs> Can I put the shadows back up? Those weren't a problem earlier. Nope. No, 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 no. No, we're just gonna have to go uh, happy meet there. Oh, that's low weight. Just the shadows again. Looks like it. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, there was no problem at the start, and then you come to the village and uh, you get trouble. Trouble, trouble. Oh, it's a different area. I'll keep an eye on. Where did I have my
Yeah, it's very early access. Okay, so we're gonna rebuild this village then. So that means what they meant in the road map is that later on more villages are gonna be added. At least what I'm assuming right now. Burn chest. Bandits. Scavenger. Kayuri. What's that over there? Gallows? Yes, price of our freedom, Jiro. Uh, who led the first Iki? Oh yeah, Injiro who led the first Iki, so the rebellion. Uh, the alliance against uh, Shibiyama Dono died here. Oh, well, that sucks. I saw it with my own eyes. I never forget it. So, this Injiro led a rebellion against the local lords. He lost and he, yeah, he hung around for it. Okay. Did the rebellion change people's lives for the better? I doubt it. I'm not sure. We have, or did they win? We have a new set of problems now. See that man there, Gojiro? He's one of the bandits who set up a camp along the coast. They want to claim Jiro's legacy. I'm afraid they might have bigger plans. Fair enough. Uh, was he a bandit? No, he used to be the. He used his head before he drew his sword. He knew how to talk to people. Robbing innocent merchants, blocking trade routes, and looting warehouses surely wasn't part of his legacy. So what did he fight for? For community. He wanted people to work together, despite our differences. But instead, everyone's pulling their own strings, and the, va the valley falls into despair. Not what you expect from the legendary peasant kingdom, eh? I'm sorry. I don't know why they're calling themselves the peasant kingdom when everything's burned down. One thing's for sure, we could really use someone like Injira right now. That's not subtle. Okay, let's talk to the bandit then. Good day, is that the gallows behind you? Hint, hint. Yes, of course, did you come to pay your respects? Not sure who was Hank there, we already know that. Uh, you must be a visitor from far away. Welcome. Well, that's a very polite bandit right there. This is the exact place where the famous Injiro drew his last breath by the orders of the accursed Shibayama. Uh, sorry, Shibayama. What was he famous for? He was the bravest man in Japan. He inspired an Iki, an alliance that revolted against Shibayama and liberated the province under his yoke. So they won, but he got hanged. Well, probably the other way around then. He got hanged and then they made a martyr out of him and they won. Okay, so he's sh who's Shibayama? He used to be a sugar dai. dai. I'm, try I'm trying, okay. Hey, Red Flyer, thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. I'm trying with the Japanese uh, names, but I don't know more than I've heard in anime, so. Um, he used to be a sugar dai. Uh, he administered these lands for the Lord. But then war between the clans broke out. He took advantage of the turmoil and grabbed power for himself. What was so bad about that? We supported him at first, hoping he'd be better than our pitiful excuse for a Lord. But he was not. He attacked us to death. People went hungry and sick. We knew something had to be done, else we all die. Okay, so we're getting a whole history... Of the rebellion now, Courageous and Jiro called us to unite in an Iki and went to Sugar Dono's. Uh, in case you don't know, Dono is simply means Lord, as in that's something you paste behind a name. So to his mansion to demand abolition of debt. So instead of saying Lord so and so, you would paste it after his name. In case you aren't familiar with how the Japanese um, politeness system works. But the wretched uh, Shibayama Dono, and so now they use the Dono again. That's honestly a little bit weird. Because he left it off earlier. He got red in the face and smoke went out of his ears. He sent out samurai to dispel us. We fought hard but eventually got overpowered. So we lost. The, the torch is gonna go out soon. <laughs> Did it succeed? Not at first. Virtuous and Jiro was hanged, and uh, Sosugi was burned to the ground. Okay, so Sosugi is the the village then. Crooked Shibayama hoped this would be the end of it, 
but it only made us angrier. Okay, so he was a martyr. Then. So not long afterwards, the duplicitous Shib Shibayama sent out his troops to find a clan war. We used the opportunity, and soon we danced over his bloody corpse. Sounds like a party. Did he die? Uh, yes. Because we danced on his corpse, right? Uh, he committed uh, seppuku in his own mansion. Okay, so he uh, he ended uh, everything himself. Got it. You can see the remains of his mansion if you travel further into the valley. Okay, we'll get to that. And if you want to taste real freedom, come to our camp at the seaside cliffs. Uh, the camp is called uh, Injiromura. Of course. Let's finish this later. I've got to go. Now I had more torches. I thought the I thought they said it would replace itself. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, got to eat something. Yeah. Cooked fishies. No, no, don't put that away. I need that. Okay, so we can turn burn. I just realized the rain looks awesome. Look at that. Everything's wet. This is quite a big village, actually. Climb on that. Oh no, we already talked to her. Just a person marker. Okay, so where's this bell tower then? And can we sleep to skip the night? Should we maybe make a little... Is this... Oh, is this maybe the bell tower? This is the burnt bell tower. Oh, wait. Uh, no, it was two. <laughs> Hold down. I'm enjoying the wet footsteps. Uh, no, wait, that's the fisherman's tent. Can I sleep in this tent here? Or should I build a new one near the, the village? I could sleep. Yay! Hey, Smiley. I'm good, thank you. At least the fire is still going. Let's cook some. Alright, we need to get some woods. Right, what was the... There was one, right. Oh no, wait, I need to chop it up first with the axe. Bark it with the Atze. Uh, I need 
Um, I need planks, don't I? Hold on. There we go. That's 15 planks. Let's do another one. Yeah, I see the deer, but uh, meat spoils and I have quite a bit on me. the rest there you go how was your day smiley I was good I uh, started a bit later today we had to do our weekly shopping you know food and such the good thing actually it's some burger king by the shops okay let's give him planks or show him the planks uh i have the materials for the bell tower let me see these planks look a bit rough but i guess you can't do much better with primitive tools here yeah, fair enough okay villages bell towers built using a unique unique alarm bell item are very important structures a radius around them is designated your village. Build bell towers away from bandits and neutral villages close to any resource mother loads. So we can build multiple villages. Yeah, I guess we're we're heading towards the Lord of the Valley, right? Not just master of one village. You can also use that structure to fast travel between towers you have built or encountered. Oh, that's nice. Most importantly, you can use it to progress the game by ending the current season and starting the next one. You can... <coughs> oh, hold on. Let me take a sip of a drink here. You can build your first village anywhere you want. Decide to settle in the ruins of Sosaki and stay close to help its denizens. Or explore the map and find a spot that suits your style. And don't worry if you don't find the perfect location in your first try. We you progress the story, increase your dynasty legend level, and ask the local abbot for permission, you will eventually get more belts, an opportunity to build more villages. Ah, okay. So we can basically just steal the bell of this village and go elsewhere. Or we can just build here and find better locations as we go. Oh. That's a hard choice right there. Because I don't really know how much resources are around. Probably not a lot of metal since you're literally by the sea. There's a lot of fish. I'm gonna take a look around. So how big is this map? I can't really zoom in. Um, I don't think that rock's meant to be on the bridge there. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's, it's a reasonably big map. Cloth. Sure.
Yeah, just take off. Oh, no, it's... Okay, so the package stays there. I just thought we'd take a look around. Uh, Isso Shrine. Kami Shrines and Blessings. Kami is God. Uh, spirituality is a big part of... So, uh, any God, by the way. Not necessarily the God. Spirituality is a big part of the life in Nata Valley. Follow Tori Gates to find Shinto Shrines and various Kamis. I think the... the multi well, no, they're probably not better than I do. Uh, they can provide a temporary boost for you. Called a Blessing. Blessings require an offering, an item related to the specific kami. Place your offering at the shrine altar in exchange you will gain some way of the monk experience points for 5 minutes. You can enjoy an increased sprint for speed. Sprint speed, for example. The more shrines of the same kami you discover, the more effective the blessing will become. Okay, that's a nice over. So. Okay, the shrine is open. Yellow chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemums. Well, I don't have those yet. We'll have to keep an eye open for them. Probably too easy to expect uh, it grows close by. Now here's the thing, I have no idea yet if there's uh... Okay, so this is a good good spot for stone. I don't know yet if there's any kind of animals in the game. Is this something? No. Push. Six. Okay, honey. Can I harvest that bush or not? Guess not. we do what do you guys think are you lost no i'm not lost because i followed the path see there's the burn down village so i have two choices at this point one we can simply start here and build here it's a nice flat area um simple but clearly a starter's area um or we can look for something more I would just take a gander in the south and then decide. There's a lot of grass here. I wonder if that grows back. No, that, that's not stone. So it's oh, straw. Handy. Like a little bit of farming area. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me do that again. There's a climbing animation. Do you see that? That's awesome. Get on your goat. I don't have a goat yet. I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, cherry trees. Oh, we can't even cut them down either. Okay, we got some bamboo. Someone has their house still up. Shinto priestess. Chiyome. Uh, Chiyome. 
sorry. Uh, what do you do here? I am the Shrine Priestess. So, Yamaki then? I'm not sure what the difference is. I worship Inari, the goddess of prosperity and bountiful harvest. I was shipwrecked near here. Some of us have survived. I know I've heard about you and the other survivors. Wow, news travels really fast here. I hope you find what you're looking for. We're hoping for a new life in Peasant Kingdom. That's the only thing that's bothering me. Why would you call this Peasant Kingdom? Is there some kind of story behind this? That's what I'm thinking. Is it like, um, it's probably a story they told themselves, like a peasant kingdom, a place where there's no lords. So, you know, no one to, t to steal from them and such. We're going to hard times, the more reason to pray to the goddess. Any other village around here? There's uh, Segi, the forester's village, they can be a bit wild. But they do provide wood for the whole valley. If you want to learn hunting or woodworking, Seki is the place to go. Aratani is the farming community. They are wary of strangers, but if you convince them, you can learn a lot about cultivating the land. Iwasaki is where the mines are and the ironworks. The working conditions are hard. It's definitely a place to visit. And not stay. Okay. Nothing happens in the valleys without the consent of the Jorenji Temple. If you want to develop your village, you have to talk to them. Finally, there's Njiro. It can be dangerous, you see. This is where the Valley Bandits have their headquarters. Okay, well, thank you, man. Um, let's not steal her stuff. She's probably gonna get killed by the gods or something. I'm just really curious if if she gets mad if I loot her stuff. Like, if I crouch, do I get like a hiding emoji? Am I safe? It doesn't seem to do anything. It's all one, yeah, it's all one thing. Okay, do something more? Everything is lootable. Okay. But I don't know if that did anything. <laughs> uh, let me see. Managing your dynasty, the best way to achieve prosperity. It allows you to automate some production, make your own life easier, but become a great leader. You need people to lead. Fair enough. Uh, look for refugees to make them join your dynasty by assigning them a bed in one of your houses. They'll be able to assign them a job. Like item production or special project construction. To produce items of village needs, access to dynasty storage buildings, raw materials, and optionally a uh, tool. You can always you can also assign a job to yourself. After all, as a great leader, you should give a good example. Note that all of the production and benefits happen on season change. Think of seasons as production turns and prepare for them well. You can end the current season after some days have passed to end the season interact with the bell. Note that your villagers have needs and collect them and they will eventually leave. I'm getting a flashback to Medieval Dynasty where I had a villager leave by just walking into the lake and just going. Um, can I recap? Um, basically, I, get, I have a bell. And with that bell, I can make a location where I can place a village. I need to decide whether we do that where the old bird town village is, or if we want to do that somewhere else. So I was just exploring a little bit to see where we want to settle down. Okay, so we need food, beverages, and heating material. Your dynasty storage. 
So this is just the information on how to set up, how to run your village. It's very similar. So this is my perks. Still have to unlock. We found one shrine. Um, and apparently I can steal as much as I like. I don't see any downsides to it. Small bridge construction site discovered. Um, is that better water? I mean, just a guess. I don't see a construction site. Oh, there. I see it. Can we climb? Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this is one of those special projects that level up our, basically, our infamy. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay, so there's a bunch of special projects in the world. They represent the transportation, production, and spiritual infrastructure of the whole valley. Completing them takes a lot of effort, but increases your dynasty legend level. That was it, yeah. And sometimes provide other rewards, like mother loads for rare resources. The start the construction process builds a special project construction workshop. Say that ten times fast. Nearby the signpost. If the recipe will unlock by the main quest. Okay. So we need to build a workshop close by and then we can build that bridge. So basically I was going I was going south. I can still do that. I can still go there, but it's uh, clearly for bigger traveling. Oh, wasabi. Yeah, my inventory is a bit full at the moment because I stole everything from the priestess. <laughs> so there's a bunch of neutral villages. Oh yeah. Something. So there's a village for farming, there's a village for woodworking, and there's a village for mining. There's a bunch of deer. But right now I just want to explore a moment see what else there's to find. Looks like there's something on top of that hill. I see Shinto gates. I did not like that sound. Oh shit. Okay, that was fast. Wait, I start back here. I slept at... Uh, so they're boar. Or as the Germans like to call them, lions. Um, did I lose everything? No, no, I still have everything. Okay. Wow, I heard them. I turned around and boom, dead. I know, I saw... Um, mix refuse. Um, of course, at that point, I was already planning on cleaning it, but I, you know what? I'll, I'll let's just go look at it and we'll check out why people are giving it negative refuse. I don't want to know right now. I'm sure they're right, but it's very early access. I say we just build the bell here and go for it. And we'll see what happens. This, there's a lot of exploring to do. And maybe in another playthrough we'll do it differently. Um, what did I have to write? Six. I'm, I honestly miss a little bit of... Just a tiny hop bar where I can see the number I have my tools on. 
So, okay, so that we need to unlock. Airbox trap. We have some chests that's gonna come in handy, but this is not village structure. We'll take a closer look at it in soon. Gates, fences, spiritual, trade, wells, farming, training, bell tower. Well, it was right here. And we we have a lot of flat land there too, right? I don't know. I don't know how big the area is that we could. Yeah, hold on. I don't know how big the area it would make. Should we make it more here? Can we break down these gallows? No, they have to stay. That that area seems to be very... Yeah, let's build it here. Next to the gallows. That makes perfect sense to me. You know, you can just have everything swing around. I don't know. <laughs> Not enough resources. Come on. How can I need more logs? Because they said I already got more than I. Uh... I'll get more. I just thought I had enough. Wait. Uh, did I not have. Another axe? Yeah, I do. Get our other tool out. The bark and planks. Also, high rose. The beaches and cliffs. We must play in Pali, <laughs> you wish. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot less cartoony. Are you going to play the game with this full access? Well, we have no idea yet when that's going to be. Let's see if we're alive still then. No, I'm kidding. I probably will. Yeah. Oh, obviously, it's going to depend a little bit. Oh, sorry. That's my mistake. It didn't need, lo it didn't need planks. It needs logs. Hold on. Doesn't matter. We need the planks anyway. little bite to eat. Oh, it... No, I don't think it hurts me, actually. I don't know if I need to debark them to build with it. But let's pick them up. I had a lot of fun with Medieval Dynasty. The only downside of that game was that I was... I basically finished it, right? I was at endgame. And then they added a lot of middle game to it. And I started over, and but they added so much to the storyline that I honestly just got bored with reading it. <laughs> the <clears throat> it wasn't that good. There we go. All right. Okay. First things first. I need some more axes. New things. And. I say we build ourselves a home. So can I break this down? Yes. Uh, 
But it's just giving me some sticks and charcoal. Oh no, there you go. We've got some planks. Oh, we need to talk to him. Hold on. The tower has been rebuilt. Well done. The bell will ring just like in the old days. Time to build a house. After all that time I spent escaping, after seeing my own house burned down by the Lord's warriors, I wonder what it will feel like. Your house burnt? I can relate. Yeah, I can tell. I have the same memories, and I kept returning to them for a long time. Building a new is more important than clinging to the old. If you need some material, feel free to take apart the runes. Uh, thank you. I was working on that, actually. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, I'll talk to him more later. Let's build a house. Housing, production, surface, and storage. Okay, we start with housing. Um, it doesn't really matter where I put my own house right now because I can always build a bigger house elsewhere. Okay, so let me try this, right? <laughs> okay, I like that. I like that a lot. I can just move the blueprint. You need to move it to the side for a bit, so you, that means you can't adjust the placement a lot. I'm trying to make it fit the roads a little bit. This one... Well, yeah, the path will pretty much go to... Yeah, so I can't put it on the old blueprint. That's a bit of a shame. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I need more locks first. Okay, so the outline disappears if you let go of your uh, hammer. Hammer! Did I hit two at the same time? Uh, it's the same devs? No, it's um, that's the thing that went wrong with uh, Wild West Dynasty is that Toplitz is the developer of Medieval Dynasty, but they are the publisher of Wild West Dynasty and this one, Sengoku Dynasty. So it's a different development team. They just published it. I say just as if it's nothing, but it you know what I mean. It's a different team. I think this game took a lot more away. They looked more at Medieval Dynasty and said, okay, but I want to improve this or I want to improve that. That's clearly different for me. Uh it needs a little bit of work on optimization <clears throat> absolutely because i had to turn down my settings when i have a very good video card so yeah take care of uh, to look at the minimum the minimum needs you minimum you need to have okay so now we need planks i have those some energy. Okay, so oh wait, could I have changed the floor? Wait, modify. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll try that with another. Hmm. 
we can change the wall. Okay, so you have smaller. Premium conifer trees such as the Japanese cedar. Delicious. Um, what's the difference? Oh, there's a line in it. Um, well, I don't think I can actually really cut down better right now. Later on, we'll go, we'll maybe we'll be able to make better the. <clears throat> better houses. to eat what am I doing on sticks here yeah, I'm gonna need some more and I'm out okay I don't think I can actually hold a torch and use a tool at the same time can I no Here's the standing house. Elder. Oh, that's a bit sad seeing this stuff. Who's this? Impure. Matsumaru. What is your profession? I preserve the sanctity of the valley and keep spiritual pollution at bay. Burials, animal carcasses, removing large boulders, you name it. Oh, that's why he's impure. He deals with the dead. Okay. Talk to you later. Talk to the elder in a bit. Let's see, we need sticks. Look, okay, it's firewood. Well, we need that too. But it gives me sticks as well. These gives us sticks. Small tree. Your lighting looks good, doesn't it? Okay, so right now we can actually just build a village. So I see a lot of building options. We'll just have to collect the right amount of... Uh, ah! I found the yellow chrysanthemums. I needed those for the shrine. Okay, well, we'll go there when it's light. For now, let us finish our little house. So maybe I'll give this house to someone else. Make ourselves something with the... Uh... Oh. <laughs> well, with a new hammer at least. Need more planks and more sticks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, 
Light sources, yes. Wooden torch. Lamps. Oh, it needs to be inside. Oh, that's a shame. I thought we might be able to... House furniture. Dynasty storage goes. Oh, that's probably for... Yeah, that villagers can use as well. We are going to need to have some storage of our own. Okay, yeah, that's cool. We need sticks, we need some planks. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> An extra axe there. Oh, no, 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 no. So, if I do that to get sticks. Can I then use the adds to get planks? Yes, okay. Oh no, that's a root. It's hard to see in the dark. Oh, mushrooms. Matsutake. Oh, this one needs to hold. Weird. Those? Add a tiny bit of brightness so you guys can see something. Hold on. As soon as the uh, house is done, it'll probably be daytime again. <laughs> The flow of seasons is an important part of the life in Nata Valley. Villager production needs and happiness and special projects construction all rely on it. As a leader, you have some influence when it happens. Each season has a minimum number of days, two by default, that need to pass. They already did for this season, so you can change it to the next one by interacting with the bell tower. If you don't do it in the next few days, the season will automatically change at the last day, five by default. So is that seven in total or five in total? Probably day five. I need more logs. planks. Oh. Oh, that's the total roof. It's one item. Okay. Oh 
some logs and I need some planks. There you go. Let's see if that's enough. I can't say this from here. Okay, fire pit. One more stone. And a little bed. One more, there we go. Okay, I just need a stone. Like one. Don't think we have a... Uh, a search function a function like we have in medieval dynasty here's some stones there you go oh, you can actually uh, move it Change? Oh, you can change it into a better bed. A roof? I wonder if I could change the roof. I forgot to check. Um, I hope they fix the camera going to the roof and the walls. That's a little bit annoying. But I want to, what I wanted to do is... Can I sleep here? There you go. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. Counts. Can I go? Is there a different view mode? There is. Okay, hold up. Can I do it next to the fire? Yes. There you go. Wow, this is a little bit disorientating. But not bad. I have built the house. And we're ready? Impressive. Maybe you should expand. Build a foraging or woodcutting hut. I can show you how to do it. But overall, time to settle down. No, this is just the beginning. I want to build a place for everyone. Everyone? Everyone. My family, friends, neighbors, the, my cousin's cousin's girlfriend. Everyone come from back home. Other wanderers like me. That actually fit pretty well. <laughs> Are we supposed to speak Nihon now? Uh, yes. Wait, wait, this might be going too far. The people are afraid and mistrustful. They will never accept the whole flock of vagrants settling here. I convinced you. Don't think I convinced them as well? It won't be as easy with the others. If I were you, I'd start slow and not scare everyone with that little vision of yours. Fair enough. People have to get to know you first. And the best way to make introductions is to offer help. First person I need to help is Akko. I can finally offer her a place to live. But do go on. Who should I talk to? Um, a warrior, priestess, and the and impure. Well, I already talked to the priestess and the impure, so we're good. We're good on our way. <laughs> Sushi sashimi planks and Jesus. Oh, oh. I could go for some sushi. Okay, tell me about the warrior. Kenjo. The uh, Kenjo. Yeah, the warrior. He's a bit, well, fences himself a protector of the people. He puts on an air of a warrior, but he has no lineage to speak of. He's more one of us. Oh, that sounds good. Well respected by some, hated by others. I think we can all smell who doesn't like him. Otaku Uchi. <laughs> Not sure what he's up to right now, but I'm sure he'll find a way to make... Uh, he'll find a way to make you do his work for him. Yeah. Priestess. Uh, so she is a Miko. Um, for those who were wondering, uh, the little kitty in the corner there is Miko Freya. 
Maybe I should uh, move little Miko Freya actually to I mean which tool I'm holding you can also see my hand. Now you can see my health. In case I lose. <laughs> okay, she's in charge of the local shrines. She's a gentle woman worried that all the kami, the divine spirits, turned away from us. Or actually, that we have turned away from them. Talk to her. Maybe you can console her. Okay, talk me about the impure. So the impure is the one who deals with the, basically the dead bodies and the jobs no one wants. Both human and animal. Uh, Matsumaru... Did I say that right? Yes, Matsumaru is a proud Ita, an impure from Segi. As all impure, he lives between the earthly world and the divine realm. He does things that are spiritually polluted, like burying the dead or disposing of animal carcasses. Only those living close to the spirits can do those things, and I think he's carrying an especially big burden right now. Yeah, he probably buried a lot of people. Talk to him. Maybe you'll be able to, to take some of the weight off his shoulders. Okay, recruitment. You will not be alone in your efforts to rebuild Nata Valley. To recruit any refugee, you need to ask them if they're willing to join you. Your friend Akko is no exception. If they agree, you need to prepare a spare bed for them. Next, open the Dynasty Management menu. Go to the Population tab. Look for people with refugee tag. Assigning them beds will make them villagers and your new responsibility. To find more refugees and bells to build more villagers, continue the main story until you meet the local abbot. Basic at first, but more advanced later, you're expected to satisfy your villagers' needs. <clears throat> Each season, your people will demand food, beverages, and other goods, like yeah, firewood. Place proper items inside Dynasty storage containers, or we saw those, and expect them to be consumed on season change. Fail to satisfy their needs, and your villagers' happiness will decrease. Low happiness means lower production, production, effi effi <laughs> production efficiency, and a chance to leave you forever. Toggling needs the high consumption will increase happiness if properly satisfied. Um, your villagers are not only about demands, they're also an effective workforce. Use them to grow, to produce enough items to satisfy their needs. To work, a villager needs to have a bed assigned. Open the population tab, assign a workplace to a person. Open the job tab and assign a person to a workplace. Then set the production recipe and amount of workplace pop-up amount in the workplace pop-up just like with needs production happens on season change you can even assign a job to you okay oh, thank you Ishi. better okay well we made one house also go back okay so we can go to over shoulder look farther away farther away i see um well we're gonna need more houses if we want to invite more people This is all burned stuff. Tax, <laughs> tax for investors? No. Uh, no highborn allowed here. Hold on. 
Yeah, we already uh, we already built something, so. Okay, let's try one with a stone foundation. That just gives me sticks and charcoal, I think. But we want to get rid of it anyway. No? Stones. And thanks everyone for the 30 likes. Grab these. So I'm just building some houses so we can recruit some people. Uh, also need to make sure we have a storage building so they can actually take what they need. Burn tree. Better get rid of that. And then we need production buildings so we can actually put them to work. Makes sense to me. Oh, let's make a bunch of axes. We're gonna need it. That way I just automatically pick up a new one instead of having to put it in. See? There it went. Oh, no. Here's some bunch of stones. And I'm probably going to need some logs as well. Oh, well that was my pickaxe. Yeah, see now it's not on the spot anymore where I put it. There you go. Get some logs. Bark them. Or some extra sticks. Um, hold up. Inventory is full. One couple more. Oh nice. <laughs> Oop. But uh I I don't know what the complaint is so far, it is very similar to is that uh no that's not a lot. Yeah, I need some storage of my own. Uh, it's very similar to Medieval Dynasty. Hmm. 
the characters seem more lifelike though if they have better animations uh there's that one lock i missed i can get the stump out I don't know if there's a, an upside to that, but if you use a shovel, you get a lock, I see. Do I have more food? Out of meat, I'll have to go uh, look for some soon, or fishies. Full up again. Okay, so the floor is still the same. So what's the upside down, uh, upside down of building a stone foundation? I think it just looks the same, right? Yeah. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Hmm. Yeah, that's just an another type of wood that I can't cut yet. Need more planks. Oh, <laughs> bye, hammer. There he is. the sticks in first wow you're already trying out the house it's not even done yet <laughs> where was that one plank I want the log You know, before it gets dark, which is obviously getting pretty close, let me go to that uh, shrine. Because I had to put in uh, yellow chrysanthemums. Logic suggests the house will be less farmable. Well, if it's only ground level it's not gonna matter that much is it there was a hair the his arm looks a little weird if I, uh, I think, was it caps lock that's Oh, I see. Capsule is walking. A 
Okay, so how do I do that? Well, I didn't want to eat them. Aha, there we go. Simply a question of hitbox. Okay, so what buff did I get? I don't know. Am I faster? Can't really tell. <laughs> but I have made uh, the offering. So we need to reach Dynasty Legends level 5. Okay. Um, so is it spring right now? I can unlock, uh, let me see, price is lowered, sell higher, yes. Craftsman, I have two even. For, uh, less crafting time. Lumberjack, your action is more powerful. Okay, that sounds very handy. Full stamina. Oh, but that needs to be level two. Okay, there you go. Fur hunter. When skinning a dead animal, you get the fur. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, we found one shrine so far. Um, yeah, I run back to the village, but I need planks. Hold on. to hit them only once with the axe and switch to the atze wait no damn it he didn't switch i thought he did oh well, but it doesn't matter we need firewood anyway they look very similar so hence my confusion Another one. Okay, now we switch. There you go. New planks. Oop. We building our house. Some stone on me. I think I'm a little bit short still. need one more okay but I need five plus extra for the roof I'll 
almost need to make sure I get some food to soon. Timber! soon. Yeah. Hold it. Uh, another one. Okay, so more houses for more peeps. Once this house is done, we can invite Akko to join. And then we'll see about getting some more people. Bark them. And cut them into planks. Perfect. Oh, that's a stump. Walk through my house, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, can we change something to the roof? Closer. Okay, so no. There's no... I thought maybe we could make a straw roof, or... No, that's, that's the wall. One lock short. That's okay. Well, let's not clear cut the entire hill here. I do hope it all grows back during the season change. I think I picked some up that were not debarked yet. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, you. No. <laughs> okay. Finish the roof. Requires quite a bit that fire pit. We can actually name the village. Oh boy. Um. Sorry, my, my socks turned. Very annoying. <laughs> there you go. on it a bit. It has no... Uh... So... 
I'm homeless. So how do I set a house for myself? Um, okay, apparently I'm not a, I'm now a cook. We have to open the workplace pop-up, which allows you to manage workers for recipe they produce its season and the tools they use. Workers are all members of your dynasty who have a bed assigned. If there's a recipe you would like to produce, make sure you have built all the required storage buildings. Yeah, I still need to do that. And that necessary resources and tools are available before you increase production. Resources or tools are reserved for production will disappear in the store. I'm just assigning and we'll see how this all works. Uh, but I need storage. So, is this now my home, or is it the other one? Oh, this says sleep. I can do both. <clears throat> I'm gonna need to build some storage before I invite people, uh... In. Ma'am. I understand you're homeless, but really slept on top of me. Is it not morning yet? Maybe almost. Oh, there we go. That was the light. What I was looking for. Village structures light. But it requires iron ore. Can I hang up the lamp? Requires fissile stone. Gates. I saw some bamboo on the way. So we can make a village gate as well. That's cool. Beggar's hut. Mobile housing for hermits. Has a chance of hosting a wandering beggar each season. Let's see. Five planks, four sticks. But it's locked. A, a well? A small well. Well, that sounds very handy to me. We put dab smack in the middle of our village. There, there's a little space for... Oh, actually, hold on. Um... Here, basically, the road... If I do it here, it's gonna... Can we have daylight yet? Come on, guys. I need to... I need some light in this joint. Uh, well, let me put it down. I can always move it again. Storage buildings. General storage. Food storage. Don't go all the way out when I right click. Oh, I guess this just shows it's not unlocked yet. I need to sp 
Wood storage, water storage. Okay, so we need we need pot space for it for storage. This looks better if we put some housing there. Well, I mean, storage should be pretty central, right? Oh. <laughs> no buildings. Storage. What's the entrance? Can you rotate? Oh. I guess the la it's a it's a ladder. Oh, sorry. I'm keeping some of the burnt buildings because they give you a very good idea where the roads are basically. Oh, so general storage. bigger isn't it I guess we can put the, the water storage right here. Wrong one. Sorry. There you go. Um... Also gonna need some wood storage, but that's probably more something we put um, why doesn't it fit? Hold on. Hmm I'll remove those, there'll be no way to walk in between there. Let me see. Very long building, or what? I, I can't turn or place it for some reason. Doesn't seem that big. Hold on, I can't cancel, or there we go. The plants are in the way.
Well, that works. Um, or I just remove these plants. Oh, I saw a pop-up that something happened. <laughs> hey, Emmett! How you doing? Um... I just need to move it away to place it better. Ah, oh, still no, nothing closer. There's nothing there though. I can. I was trying to keep some items there to give me an idea. Oh, wrong one. Storage, uh, water storage. Uh, I guess they regrow. I think that's the issue here. I really wish I could just place it over itself because come on uh, that would allow me to straighten it out It to me doesn't need to be super straight. Precious sake ball. Well, I'm making a liquid storage, so <laughs> it's coming. Here, well, we have a start. We just don't have any rice patties yet, so be patient, Edgar. Uh, let's start with food and water, I think. I keep thinking that the building disappears, but it's just uh, my hammer. I'll make an I'll make an extra one. Okay, so I'm building storage building so everyone can. There... No, there's no adjustment in this building. That's fine. Okay, we need some more stone. I don't want um I don't want to invite people into my village and then realize like oh they need firewood and they need water and they need food and then they leave angry. But I've had that before. A medieval dynasty. Sober Edgar is very impatient. I thought you had all kinds of uh, wine uh, and stuff. I actually got myself some fruity beers today, for later. Just a couple new ones I didn't know yet to try out. Um. Oh, I think this was a misplacement. Um. Can I cancel this? Yes. Okay, that needs stone and logs. That needs a lot of logs. Also, logs? Wait. No, this is general storage. Should I put that somewhere else? Maybe I should put that next to my house. That honestly sounds a lot better. Hold on. Easy. Very easy to do in this game, luckily. Yeah, you're house-sitting, so you're not... 
Oh, you haven't been to the store. Yeah, that doesn't help. That doesn't help, sober Edgar. <laughs> I do have anything for you. Yeah, some planks. There you go. Oh, yep. Oh, crafting mastery. Hold on, let me uh, move this building here. Excuse me. Yeah, looking good. Now it needs just new box. Clean up this mess here. place is now uniquely placed no it's all perfect little shack town yeah well that's it you know these games you start with level one and then uh, you work your way up oh let's not forget my uh uh what was it legend yeah stamina cost nice Okay, nothing else. No. We're basically only doing the crafting part right now. All good. Grab some stone. And we need a lot of logs. And a new pickaxe. Uh, I think is enough for now. Craft more. I'll take uh yeah I'll take six. <laughs> it's, it goes fast okay. Oh we don't have space. So did you just toss them all out now or what? So what happened to the stuff? Did it? Oh, it drops it. Um. Okay, hold up. Because I think there should be some like personal storage I can build. There you go. I'll go in first person for insight. Oh, it does go outside. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll put it here. Aesthetic healing balm. But this this I can actually eat. Fur bamboo bottle. Away. This fat. Okay, that sounds handy. Stone jug. I need to cook the eggs, I think, to work food. Okay, that'll do. Now, where did I drop that axe? <laughs> if I lost it, it's fine. It's just some stone and wood. There it is. Okay, did I put an axe? Yes. Hey, 
Sabrina. Hello, hello. Think of dinner, maybe a turkey and ham sandwich, but that sounds nice and easy. I'll probably have, um, I, I make, I bought some, uh, one of those, you know, non-frozen pizzas from the supermarket. Does that make sense? I'll throw on a bunch of cheese probably tonight, if I'm hungry enough, because I had a pretty big dinner. And for those of you who don't know, I often eat, like, dinner and midnight food. It's, it's, I have a weird schedule. <laughs> I just roll with it. No, I'm trying to get up a bit earlier again so I can just have lunch and dinner. It's honestly better for me. <laughs> Honeycomb cereal. Oh, that reminds me um, that whenever we used to go on vacation, so me and my parents used to go on vacation to places like, uh, well, usually there are dens, and then uh, our den is uh, basically a big forested area covering. Uh, Belgium, France, and Germany. Parts of it. So, we, we've been to several locations in there. It's very it's very beautiful. Um, but I was allowed to choose, like, a cereal. And they had these, yeah, what do you call them? Eight packs with, with like, eight or maybe a little less different flavors. That was, uh... But I, I never got cereal at home. Always just, you know, brown bread. So on vacation, I got that. <laughs> My favorite was also always the, the puffed rice with the chocolate. So I do like the, the honey ones as well. You know what I haven't had in a very long time? Porridge. That's been a long time. I'll make, I'm not, not paying attention. I'm making planks. I need logs. Hold on. It's fine. We need planks too. But it, right now I need more logs. Oh, here's a lot of... Uh... Oh, iron pickaxe. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we need to go find iron as well. I've never had honeycomb as is. I think I'm out of food. Um, well, I still have these two. <coughs> Honestly, stolen. <laughs> yeah, I know you've been... You were in an awful state, Edgar. Glad you're doing a bit better. And if it's... Uh, so what do we need? Steel pickaxe better. Okay. I'm gonna debark them because that gives me extra twigs, sticks. We need those. Downside of logs is that you get like three logs per tree, and we need a lot of them. Oh, and they all they all take one spot in your inventory. We can carry a little bit more. Hey Jordan, how you doing? Woo! Bumpy trees. Where you go? Racing brand of frosted flakes. Um, I um I had a lot of special K when I was like in early twenties, I guess, eighteen, something like that, and uh, I. It's like, yeah, lower sugar and it's better for you. And until I learned to read the labels and then I realized that it, it barely makes any difference at all with normal cornflakes. It's all such nonsense. Oh, there went all our locks. Okay, 
Okay, the storage part itself requires straw. Wait, I can build more. Hold on, I'm gonna... There. Can I get in there? Oh, I moved it. Okay, hold up. Um. Let's see, is there an easier way to... Oh yeah, just... That's not what I meant to do. No, the... Wait. Mosquito to the face. Okay, there we go. I was probably... Okay, that takes all. Hold on. Um... This is not the easiest transfer. I just want to do like right mouse button if I'm in storage and move it. It's honestly easier to just drag and drop. I'll keep a couple of eggs for myself to cook. Okay, you can have the flowers too. I have one more log. Um, but that's, uh, food storage done. Can we... I don't think we can climb up here. Okay, so your interaction point is there, but... Officially your food's up there. Got it. What do you need? Oh, I can build you. Now the question is, is the grass gonna wor disappear? Workstations like Tatara Furnaces or Tanning Stations are... Autom he was still hitting. <laughs> I could see my stamina go down. Or Tanning Stations automatically produce various unique items like steel or leather over a longer time. Just deliver the necessary resources and be patient. Visit so you don't they don't need work for workers. Interesting. Visit your workstation again to collect the products. Note that you can use workstations independently of your villagers. If the season changes during the production progress, it will continue in the next season. Nothing seems to be working. Hmm. Well, here's our water, st uh, water storage. Requires 10 logs. Yes, 10 logs. Here's our general storage. Also 10 logs. And probably more as they require a roof and such. I want to see a foundation. Special K with strawberries. I really always like the one with the dark chocolate. Um. We can't cut these down, fair enough. We have some bamboo. I'm gonna need that too. Um, I think I should do the general storage first. Just, I just need to dump some stuff uh, in there. 
It wasn't special enough. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Mistake. I'm stuck in the bush. Oh no, I thought that was maybe some kind of herb. At the stone deposit. No, there's three. Um, so that's six. I need ten. So I should be able to carry two more trees. Yes, I daily put four trees in my back pocket. It's a hobby. I did look at the top of the box. What box? No, see it? It is four. Wait, am I- oh, here they are. Never mind. I already have ten. Let's go put those in them. In my inventory? Oh, you- you mean that tree? Yeah, I just noticed that one. If that's what you meant. I don't know if I have to remove the trunks to make the trees regrow. Yeah, I missed that one. I was like, hey, why am I only getting three? But no, I did get four. Stamina. Okay, so now we need the planks. And now the sticks and planks for the walls. Eat a meal. So my stamina gets back faster. Your honor, killing an innocent. I was. She walked right into me building a house. <laughs> That's bullshit. I didn't try to kill anyone. I don't think general storage requires windows, so we're not doing it. Um. Let me see. We're gonna put in all the sticks. We're gonna need six, twelve planks. Okay, that's not so hard. That's three. Don't jump in there, jeez. Oh no, I'm gonna need to uh, need more. It's two per wall. But twelve. Uh let's go. Yeah, it's the first uh buildings going up, so you know the basics of your village, it always takes a while. That's fine. We'll get it done. Almost up to 40 likes, you guys are absolutely amazing. Oh, I don't know what I needed planks. Sorry, I shouldn't have uh, picked them up. We need plankies. Okay, that is a lot faster than doing them one by one. 
Well, I'm up here. Let me grab some logs for the... For whatever else we need. Including the water storage. I wonder what you need bark for. I've just been getting uh, sticks. Because I need those to build with as well. I always get some bark. Just in case. <laughs> Did a little hop there. Okay, switch to the Atze. It two at once. Nice. Okay. Wonder if I need tools to fish with. Also wonder if I can place beds in the houses. Like can I make extra beds or do they all need one bed person? they put it away furniture wait is this is dynasty general storage hold on Yeah, so I can add another... Can I add another bed? No, okay. I was curious about that. Um, hold on, where's my food storage? Oh yeah, okay, so I can upgrade it. By building more of these. Just take some straw. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, hold on. Oh, now there's more room. Nice. Okay, let's finish the general storage. So while there, you need containers in the building, you can add more containers to up your... There, that's better. Somewhat. <laughs> okay, now some locks. Oh yeah, stamina. Oh, we need more planks. Okay. Oh, that's nine. Hold on. Twelve. And then, oh, oh, we need for one one plank short. Hold on, could have just done this one right away. But I didn't know yet if we needed planks for the storage. There you go. Uh, no, I did not need that. First, the hammer away. Then we can look inside. Oh no, maybe, maybe it is just that big. Really? I can put... I, c 
can't put sticks in there. Then what the hell is the general storage for? Um, I'm confused. Okay, so I can put grass in there. But not straw. So how the hell am I supposed to give people firewood? Okay, so stone works. Huh. I'll have to figure that out. some eggies hmm then I don't know how do I give people firewood then if I can't put it in the oh wood storage of course you have wood storage and the rest all goes into general I just realized ma'am what are you doing in my house could you not Okay, so I should have done wood storage before. Uh, general storage. Okay, this needs 10 logs. Um... Well, we needed both anyway, so it's okay. Uh, but you know what, let me go take a nap now. Hopefully make it daytime. Okay, it's summer. Yeah, we need more uh, more peeps. It's just me right now. I just wanted to have the storage building up and running before I added more people. Out of the way. Oop. What was I missing? Wood storage. That one I can build just right into the plants. The water storage I couldn't. Also 10 logs. Yeah. Alright, let's do that first then. Well, it doesn't really matter. We need both. Yeah, so these didn't regrow. But I might just wait until I can make a shovel. It's a lot of work for removing those stumps. Let's hope I don't run into another boar again. I do hope I respawn in my house now. Instead of uh, all the way at the beach.
Wat is stone hier? Niet hier. Oh ja, het cooked eggs. Okay. <laughs> Actually showed the meal. Dus het is een meat. I don't see anything. Okay, more wood. We need 20. Can I carry that? Uh... And oh, I, yeah, I forgot to cut word of the bark one, I should say. <laughs> yeah, stick your head in that tree. Oops. Okay, so I really want to get these basic buildings up and running, and then we can start uh, inviting more people and. Uh, I'll need to build more houses if I need a A little bit silly that I need a full house for each person. I do hope that eventually they'll get uh, like a, a partner and kids and everything. That's a full inventory right there. That's stone or... Yeah. I haven't seen iron yet. I also need to talk to the other people he mentioned. Uh, the warrior, the impure, and the priestess. I need a log to make a hammer. I just used them all up. The mushrooms. Well, we are in summertime now. Something we can harvest during fall too. Just making sure we have some just in case. Sorry, mosquito trying to bug me there. Don't oh, bite me. Bugger. Okay, we got hammers again. Four 
foot. <laughs> what did you do all stream? Well, I cut down every tree on the map. <laughs> Almost at least. can I carry? Okay, well, I think we can do one more tree. Try not to clear cut the whole area. I thought I heard something. It might have just been the tree. That boar gave me a trauma. I'm guessing we need to make it so I can have some kind of armor or something before I can deal with those. Because he, that boar got me in one hit. It was just, hey boar, boom, dead. That was it. <laughs> Nothing I could, I think I hit it once with my spear. It hit me back and then boom, dead. Now we need planks. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Boop. Gotta hit the blueprint. Um, ah, oh, needs bamboo. Really? The wood storage needs bamboo. Okay. And I need more planks. Let's just... Oh, if I just... Yeah, there we go. the planks it needs. There you go. Okay, I'll have to go find some uh, bamboo then. I found some, but not enough. Jesus, you... She did it again. She walked right into my hammer. You can't kill people. Well, I wasn't planning on it. I mean, it's my building hammer. What do you think is happening here? I need more planks and bamboo. Uh, let me see. I had a little bit of bamboo over here, I think. Six. It is raining a lot in this game, to be honest. Okay. Oh, I think the mosquito got me. Yeah. Will you piss off? I have an itchy hand. <laughs> I think I missed. <laughs> Sorry about that. Welcome to the Nima streaming with special effects. Bats! <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's where we ran into the boar, but that's also where I saw the deer. So I guess it's a bit of a gamble. 
I have to figure out where we can find more bamboo. Freeze is easy. Or somebody. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we need to talk to the Miko. Kiyome. Um. I've heard you need assistance. That wasn't. The shrine is em empty. Nobody visits it anymore. With the famine, people feel the goddess Inari has left them. Inari sends foxes to protect the crops, but what can foxes do when humans burn the fields? <clears throat> I can make an offering to the goddess. Perhaps others will follow. I already did that, though. Um, fight an egg. Cook it over the campfire. The times are tough, but this will do for now. Okay, so it's just not, she's not talking about the shrine. Um... I think I saw crow's nest right on top of this rock she passed on her way from Sasogi. Um, well, I mean, I have some cooked eggs. Do I have like a quest? No, we need specifically a crow's egg. Oh, I found the bamboo, by the way. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so now we need a campfire. On. I've got to make more. Hey! A uh, craftsman. Are there not any more? Because I've unlocked these. Is this it? Maybe the yeah, it is early access. Huh. Me all the bamboo. If it specifically needs to be a campfire, if I can just use a house fire. Wait, am I training my warriorness while just swinging an axe? I guess I am. Let me see. Veteran, you held your weapon in your hand for long enough. A time to know how to wield it properly, you're going to tire slower while swinging weapons. That sounds very handy. All those years of hard work are paying off. Your grip is firm, your arms are strong, you can hit things harder. And when skinning a dead animal, you can extract fat from it with other resources. Okay, um... Tire slower or hit things. Let's start with hit things harder. That sounds very handy. Alright, it does go faster. I hear a lot more bamboo actually. Okay, that'll do for now. Let's cook this crowette. See what the button was for <coughs> tracking it. 
Use the cooked egg to make an offering to a nari. Okay, but how do we do that? I can't track it. Um... Is there maybe a shrine here? I mean, surely doesn't live here without a reason or something. Yeah. Okay, so no, that's not it. How do I do that? I can't ask that. Um. That's not really clear, is it? <laughs> Cook the egg and then... Yeah, what? Hey, Jax, put some pants on. I don't wanna. <laughs> and thank you very much, everyone, for the 40 likes. I am currently looking for Inari Shrine. I don't really want to go that way because that's where I died last time. Uh... Oh. Are these flowers anything? No. Nothing I can pick at least. I'm thinking cuz hey Wait <laughs> Wait, there's more eggs in there. I just picked up one egg for the quest. She's a priestess for Inari, so I wouldn't wouldn't think it's very far away. I don't think it's the shrine I've been to. No, that was Jiso. Places of power. that shrine that I almost reached when I died <laughs> it might just be anything up here I heard something. Watchtower site. Well, yeah, this seems like a good spot for a watchtower now, doesn't it? A hermit. Yeah, no. What are you doing here so high up? Well, I wanted to see the view. Listening to your voice, deciding what to answer. Look at the valley and the hills beyond, speaking to you. It's obvious, I can see that. And why do you ask? Hermits prefer to ask about things they cannot see. There are dark things lurking in the village by the shore. Blood that always invites them. Things you cannot see. Things that change shape at will. Oh my. Now, <laughs> suddenly it turns to a horror game. I really don't know what you mean. Don't let it bother you so much that you can't appreciate the view. 
Look, look, and come back when you see better. Alright, we'll do. Uh, yeah, we can't build the workshop yet needed for these projects. We'll get there. Okay. Another har uh, nest. Hello, dear. Oh. hard to see where it ends up since it's there you go that's better oh come on I hit it right in the kiss her Out of me, you give me back my spears. <laughs> give, give me. Can you hit it? No, I was out of stamina. Just die already. Oh my god. Look at him go. Mm. Finally. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, I need E. Sorry. Can I have my other spear back? Thank you. I need more spears. But I got him. <laughs> uh, yeah, those spears are almost broken. I'm a little bit lost, too. Out. Oh, well, I have a quest marker there. Bunny! Bunnies! Got him. When he's the other way. But that works. Ice Mighty Hunter, perhaps. <laughs> Bunny Slayer once again. Oh no, it's nothing. Um But I was looking for the shrine. Now I needed meat too, so... That's a fox. I don't know if you guys could see it. But it's gone now. Am I going the right way? Um... There's a marker there, and I don't know what it is. Now that's the quest. What's this marker then? Is that the shrine I found before? Exciting music. Oh yeah, I think it is. Well, since I'm here, I might as well check I can make an offering to Inari here. I don't think so because it's not a shrine to Inari, it's a Jiso. No, there's nothing else here. Hmm. Not very handy that the priestess of Inari is not telling me where the shrine is for Inari. But wants me to make an offering. Like, there was something that looks like it in our house, but I couldn't interact with it. Hmm. 
Uh, oh yeah, let me grab some wood actually. Uh, we're gonna need that too. Which space do I have? Not a whole lot. One more tree. So I'm currently working on. Well, I did a little quest in between, and now I'm looking for a Nari shrine. But I'm working on the storage houses so I can start inviting people into my village. I know what to look for. Those nests are very handy. I mean, it's starting to look like a village. I like it. What was that sound? Uh, let me see here. Put some private stuff away. Is this? Yeah, that's food that can go into the food storage now. I wonder if I should put cooked food in the storage. Instead, might be handy. <laughs> you know, so people have something to eat. <laughs> no, okay. Um, let me see. <laughs> Sorry, I like the sound. It just went along with it. Uh, that requires planks. This required the bamboo. Alrighty. Wood storage is up. A little bit of firewood, but we have a lot of sticks. Uh, it doesn't always... Uh, let me see. What else can we put here? Does the bamboo go here? Yes. The bark? Uh-huh. This is food. Tools. Oh wait, does the charcoal go here? Also. Good. Uh, I have... Okay. Now that I have some storage up, let me sort some more. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep some of that for myself. I have... Does it tell you? How much food it gives you. Villager needs 35? No, I don't. I'm the only villager here. Not really clear what this means. Like, do they need three berries? Do I need to go hunt for more meat? cook these eggs. We have some mushrooms.
Um, hold on. Does, does it require a stone? Why would it require one stone per egg? That seems a bit silly. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess it's make it a little bit harder to do the recipes. Uh, wait, we have some stone that way. There's some. Oop. So before I started playing, while I didn't read the reviews, I saw it had mixed reviews. And I'm not getting it. I know it's a slow start, but it's a dynasty game. It's supposed to have a slow start. I don't know what people's downsides are. I guess the tools damage really quickly, but I mean, they're, they're crappy tools. They're meant to. Let's pickaxe. Pretty soon we're gonna not only like upgrade our tools, we're also gonna get people working for us. Which is gonna be a big help. How many stones do I have? Oh, enough. Okay, let's cook those eggs and get some sleep. Oh, here's some more. The only downside I see right now is that each house can only hold one person. Oh, sorry. Got to press F there. Only one person per house right now. I don't know if that's like only a startup thing or if, if it will be that way until we can get romance and such. And That, uh, I know there is more gobo, but I don't uh, have it right now. Um, I wish the items... That that's one thing I would like to see, is that items stack a little better. Let me just empty this out, and then when we wake up, we can... Uh... See how much we need for this water storage. Okay. One, so five. Okay. Five more planks. Oh, sorry, I was uh, still holding my hammer there. There you go. Good night, Gibbles. See you soon. And I would like to wake up when it's actually getting light. Not when it's still so dark. But it's getting lighter, so it'll be okay. Stone deposit. Probably just should have kept the meat for myself. Because that fills you up a lot more. I can still take it for myself. Not a problem. Come on, get it. Okay, sun's coming out slowly. It's still raining. Does it always rain this much in Japan in summer? If so, if I ever go, I'll have to go in another season. <laughs> Stop 
planks. And a roof. Let me see. Mama. Okay. Do I have more locks? No, I'm just all out. I'm Uh, sorry, how many do we need? 14! Oh, 14 planks! Okay, no, thank goodness. Because <laughs> it's 3 planks per log. So, 5 logs. That's better. That's 2 trees. Beep, beep, here we go. I feel a bit bad about clear-cutting the hill. I don't honestly know if things regrow yet. Or maybe I need to clear the trunks to make them regrow when season change comes. Oh, oh. There. First thing we're gonna do is uh, see if we can get some people to do this job for me. <laughs> Gathering some wood. Even if it's just uh, logs, it's gonna save me a lot of trouble. A lot of time. Stone. Boop, boop. I like the music, it uh, switches off a lot. Do it a little bit more stamina. It goes empty really fast. Okay, let me see. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Oh, oh, straw. Side. Probably to isolate the building more so the water doesn't evaporate because this is the water storage. Oh, backside. Luckily, I had a lot of straw. I have some grass too, so I can make more. Um. gonna need 11 more planks. Really? That's a lot of planks for such a small barrel. <laughs> um, so that's four four logs. I have one so that's one more tree. startles me every time. Oops. 
Okay, I really want to finish this so we can uh, start inviting it. Well, at least one person, because it's one person per house. Boy, that's going to be a lot of work <laughs> to get more people in this town. Oh, that was my Atze. Okay, water storage. Yeah, I can't do anything with the well though. I'm not entirely sure what to do with that. Maybe I need like buckets? Okay, let's go talk to Akko since we have a house for her and we have food and firewood. Might want to make some more firewood, but <clears throat> it'll tide her over. Oh, sorry, this is the fisherman. Him. He's probably gone. I didn't see him on time, so I couldn't crouch. Make some more of these spears. bit of a cheat. No, don't run away. Damn it. We just hit him. I got my spear back. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it's early access. They'll probably fix the animals getting stuck. Because that seems a bit silly, doesn't it? Uh, uh, probably what if my spears broke. Okay. Are there are lootables here? A bucket! I'll speak of the devil. There we go. I was looking for that. All right. Could have told me about the bucket. I carry good news. The village is reborn. Come join me. You're unbelievable. That makes me so happy. Just tell me where my house is and I'll get to work. Okay. So let me see here. Akko. Oh. One home. A forger in the small well or a cook. Well, I probably better put her on water because I can cook, but I can't. Um, 
Requires a bucket. Okay, hold, hold up. Um, hey, the the tent and fireplace I had up for her are gone. I have a bucket now. Where then do I need to put the bucket? I think the tutorial told me, but honestly, it was a lot of information in one go. Has the bucket, yes. Okay. That was probably the the problem here. Drop the bucket. Water. So did I now lose my bucket? I think I did. So how do I make buckets? Um, maybe there's like a workbench? A shed. Simple storage structure allows you to build personal dynasty storage furniture for quicker. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Production building. Forager's hut. Woodcutter's hut. Okay, but... Uh, tavern? Woodworking table. That's probably what I need. Okay, so where where do we want that? A little bit over here maybe? A big, uh, a big boy, isn't it? Um, I just put it here. Or do we want to put more housing here? Let me, let me see. Cause we can break this down. We can build more houses over here. Um. Because I'm also thinking about where we want to do some farming. Let's see, this is basically going to be... Um, yeah, that's where we want the tavern. So behind there we can have more housing. That's where we can have more housing. I'm assuming we want to build... Yeah, here's like a, a field. But that's burned down. Burned down fence. Oh. Oh, we got a storm. Storm's a brewing. the farming or training or 
archery practice. The gallows. Seating arrangement. Oh, you need to have a log in your inventory. Okay, so we can make like a little area in the village. That's nice. Signpost so you can show yourself the way. Cart. Not what I was looking for. Where was the farming? Oh, you can make more workstations. I wonder if you can build an access to the storage in a in a worker uh, in a production building. Ooh, bamboo table, floor lamp. Wait, a floor lamp? Hold on, I want to try this. <laughs> um. Always move it again. Is it raining inside my lovely new house? It is. Not well, as hard as it's side, but it is. It is certainly leaking. I made a good roof. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, maybe we should build a woodcutter a little bit farther away, like over here. Can we? Can we do that? Is that too far? No, no, that that actually works fine. Let's see, little stairs along the ro along the road there. Can I? Yeah, that works. All the logs. So, what was the other building? That we can make it this time. Forge's hut. See it glitch green for just a second. I guess it doesn't work. Is this even a good spot? Probably not. It's also not flat enough. Plants are blocking me. Um, thinking, where's a good spot? I don't want it too close to the houses. Quite high from the ground. Mm. 
see. That's too far away from the village. Okay, that was too high. <laughs> oh well. Um. I don't want to block this entrance too much either. So this is basically the entrance to the village, right? Then you get to the main square here with all our... storage buildings. Obviously we don't want a forger right in the middle of town. Well, maybe that is just an okay spot. There's going to be a lot more buildings. Yeah, it's nice along the road. Um, just a bit bumpy placement. Wrong button. We're going to need a lot of logs. So how do we get to level 5? Happiness. No idea what that means. We still need a name, too. <laughs> I'll have to think of that. Okay, so we have Akko. Oh, I put her on the small well. That's not going to work, because... Um, I don't have buckets. There. You cook those for... Mm, would be nice if I could just tell her to make unlimited. Mm. So, let me see here. If I put raw food in our food storage... I'm really, it can stop raining now. I'm so done with the rain. Okay, put some raw food in there. Okay, I can just set it to max. So we need beverages, but I can't make water or anything yet. Weirdly enough. Yep, I'm wearing underwear. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. I don't think we can cook anything yet with the berries, but people can eat them. I wish I could just put some storage in my own house. I mean, I have a little container here, but... Yeah, so everything I get, every time I get a little bit of water, I need a new bucket. That seems a bit silly to me. Okay, 
Okay, so they really need beverages. But I don't know how to make those buckets yet. I'm hoping it's the, the woodcutter. Hey, truck! Hello, hello. You interested in checking out Sengoku? I'm having a good time. It's a it's a slow start because I need to build a lot of buildings, but it's going quite well, if I do say so myself. So I have built two houses, one for me and one for Akko, the, the woman I washed up with, basically. I have made a food storage, a water storage, a wood storage, a general storage, because apparently one storage isn't enough. And I am now working on the woodcutter and the... Um, what was it? The gathering hut? The foraging hut. There we go. Because apparently... Oh, d yeah, just make six. I go through axes like it's ice cream. On a hot summer's day. So, what I just found out is that people need water, which honestly not a surprise. But I, I found a bucket and that bucket was used up to get five water. And bucket gone. And it's like, okay, now what? Because I don't have any buckets. And I can't make them. Not that I've seen at least. So now I'm building the woodcutter's hut, hoping that that would give me a woodworking table. It should. Where I can maybe make more buckets. Um, I was honestly asking myself the same question. Because it's been raining for three goddamn hours in real life. No, it's been pretty much constantly raining. But, you know, oh, I didn't mean to pick that one up. Uh, they might want to bounce that a little bit because you can't tell me that Japanese summer is 100% rain. I'm also hoping these trees are going to regrow. But it's very... takes a long time to break this down. Now you get two sticks. I'm waiting for the shovel. Oh no. Oh, I picked up one by accident. That's right. I did not mean to drop that, whatever it was. Oh, my sticks. Alright, first batch. Yeah, it's been raining a lot. It's honestly, uh, getting silly now. We should have drowned by now <laughs> with the amount of rain we're getting. Oh, oh wait, I'm passing right by there. Uh, yeah, woodcutter's hut first. I need seven planks. That's three, six, nine. Oop. <laughs> it's correct. It's um it's refugees' clothes. Um Hammer broke. What do you need then? 
because it's not finishing. Uh, what do I need? Planks. Six. Ten. What do you need? It's not telling me. Hmm. Oh, more planks. Yeah, let's hope it stays uh, dry for a little bit. I'm missing one plank. Uh. Yeah, the biggest problem I'm gonna have is the fact that right now there's you can place one bed per house and it's only one person per house. That means that for every person you want to add to your village, you're going to need to build a whole house. Which, honestly, rude. There you go. Luckily, I can still reach it. That's uh, there, planks. I think that was a fox. That was him running away. <laughs> I think. I could be wrong. gonna need more wood but let me see what I need first. So right now it's summer we had one season change. You, uh, you can determine when you want your season change too. So that's nice. Uh Okay, yeah, I need more logs. Um, well, if we want to go... Oh, no, don't fall again. No, I'm fine. Okay. If we want to do more farming, we're probably going to have to clear all this out anyway. Yeah, that gets you planks. I need logs, though, too. So I need to help five villagers. Does it count taking them in? That's what I'm curious about. I have three quests to help people, at least, well, find them and ask what they want for me to, you know, support me bringing more people into the area. Is that my last axe? No, it's not. Uh, we can break down these burned fences. So the whole village burns. <clears throat> so what happened was that there was um, an uprising in Iki, organized by one man, who everybody is very fond of, and. Uh, against the local lord, who was, you know, bad guy, you know how it goes. And, uh, but they hang the good guy. They hung him up high. Um, right here. The local gallows, hello. Um, and everybody got so pissed, they overthrew the lord. <clears throat> so that's good. But the whole village burned down, which is less good. So I've been breaking down the old stuff and uh, building new. 
You can also choose to go elsewhere. You can also just, uh, why are you following me? I mean, if there was romance in the game already, I would probably just marry her. Um. I need planks. Hold on, I'm in the way. Have your character put flyers up, say, want to live in a great village coming in? Only catch is you have to build your own house. That would honestly make more sense to me than what I'm doing right now. I don't know. Every time this happens, my character just keeps on hitting. <laughs> It'll stop when he runs out of stamina. There you go. To create and consume, your villagers need access to resources or tools. Probably and tools. And a place to store their results. Dynasty storage buildings fulfill those requirements. Build them in every village that is supposed to contribute. Yeah, so you can have multiple villages, essentially. For ease of access, your dynasty inventories are shared globally. Oh, that's nice. There's also fast travel between the bell towers. So every village will have its own bell tower. <clears throat> which is the first thing you build because you basically claim the land with it. But you need to earn the bells. You know what I mean. Um, can be shared through various furniture and different buildings. Fill them with whatever your uh, villagers may need. Note that you can store an item only in its proper dynasty storage type. Yes, we found that out. Personal containers do not have such limits. Okay, but I still don't know. Oh, I needed to... Like, simply add a door. And I need more planks. What a surprise. Carpentry station. This gets me six planks per log. God damn it, I should have built this the first. <laughs> sorry, sorry. This should have been the first building I built. That would have helped. That would have saved me so much wood cutting. I didn't realize. Oh, I didn't mean to make firewood. Oh, it's fine. We need it anyway. And sticks. Um, so, but what I really wanted was furniture, production buildings, furniture, woodcutters, furniture. Um, so we have a carpentry. I want a woodworking table. Uh, what else can we make? Let me see. Furniture, production, wood storage, I think. Wood storage would be handy. Yeah, let's. But that needs locks, but that can wait a moment. Yes, buckets. I found the buckets, everyone. Finally. It only took me, what, four hours? <laughs> um, a stirring tool. A bucket. So is it... Okay, let me let me compare this. Is it cheaper to make it? 3-3. Three, three. This is 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. No. Not. Fertilizer bucket. 
Uh, allows you to water land f uh, farming fields. An oil lamp. A calabash bottle. Bamboo bottle. Small gohei wand. Used in Shinto rituals, those wooden or bamboo wands with thick hanging paper ribbons plant sacred places from negative. Oh, I've I've seen those before. So what they do is they hold the stick between their hands and then they go back and forth as if they were, you know, making fire basically. And then the the paper rattles in the wind. Like so. Back and forth. I hope I did that well. <laughs> Tell me what you want, what you really, really want, yeah. Mm. Okay, what do we need for buckets? Planks. Okay. Well, let me head back home. We need some lights next to the roads as well. So I made two buckets in this stack. Okay, um, so that got me 10 water, the water storage, but the buckets are gone. So we need to have someone just make buckets, I guess. Home sweet home. Let's take a nap nap. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'll probably switch stuff around. Do they get like, um, Akko? Do you have skills? I don't think they do, right? It's just a job. So change job. Um. Uh. Okay, so she just need axes. I'll just... I don't think she can cut all of them. So how do I give her an axe? Do I put it in general storage? Would that work? That sounds logical to me. I think I've read something like that. Okay, I need to give her another axe per job. That doesn't sound like a good solution, but... Okay. Um. Good luck! <laughs> Go cut me some trees! Now that that's done, let me talk to the people that probably had quests for me. Let me also pick some berries. Because... It's probably going to be fall soon. I don't know if there's going to be berries in. Yeah, so as soon as I have some people actually helping me cut wood and I have um, an option to make those planks, which I'm probably going to be a lot faster in than the NPCs. Okay, so we need to unclean. The impure, sorry. Can we talk to the elder? Who's this? I'm a... Enough, everybody, and... Okay, that's not well. Let's not steal their food, then. 
Oh, he's sleeping. Wait for me! Um, so Shiki said you might need some help. With old Hikobe? Well, you're too late. He's drawing his last breaths in Taro's cabins. Beyond help. Um, well, what's the story? He refused to leave Sosaki with, with, when his house burned down. Taro offered to take him in, and Hikobe's family moved to Aratani. Okay, so they left him behind, basically. Um, they're running out of food there, but they still kept bringing him rice. Okay, so they didn't leave him behind. Old Hikobe never wanted to be a burden, so he went into the forest and gathered some mushrooms. Ah, uh, well, okay. Um, what was he thinking? Unknown. Uh, he did it on purpose. Okay, the very happy game this. He opened his eyes for a moment and I swear he was relieved to see me. He knew it meant he was dying. Why would he do that? One less mouth to feed for the family. Who the scarce around here? Like I told you, he never wanted to be a burden. Uh, is there nothing we can do? Mata would probably say otherwise. She's a local herbalist. I don't really trust her. She likes to play with herbs and mushrooms a little bit too much. You never know what will happen if you drink her concoctions. But some of them can be helpful. I'll give her that. I'll talk to her. Okay. Um. So, I need to still find quests. Those quests, there you are. Okay, you can only have one quest. Uh, hold on. I do need to <laughs> actually activate uh, this one. Um, wait, can I do this one first? Does it tell me where the where the shrine is? Because that was a problem I had. He wanted me to get a crow's egg, cook it, and make it a sacrifice to Inari, the, the god, the kami. But I didn't know where the shrine was, so now that I know how to track stuff... How much food do I have? Because I shouldn't eat them all, that's a bit of the problem, because otherwise I won't have anything for Inari. There we go. That should help with the stamina. Um. don't have a lot of spears, but then if a boar attacks me, I'll probably be dead in two seconds anyway. And it's raining again. Um, can I cross there somewhere? If it's gonna be a problem. There it is. Can I climb over these fences? Yes, I can. Sorry about that. them and we offered an egg very good
is the official path. Oh, they, they made a little fox house. Well, the foxes seem to be benign, as in they help you. I'm going the wrong way from the village. But I'm really curious. I want that bunny. Hold on. Bit too fast for me. Hey, there's someone. Very neat. Uh, Kikamatsu. I'm on a mission. You're just standing there. Very serious one. Please don't disturb me. I shouldn't be talking to you. I have to focus. Okay, good luck with that. Um, so this is probably the road to another area. Hey! Poisonous mushrooms. I'll take that, thank you. There's some I can take with one tap and some require more. I'm just thinking that uh, we need to visit the herbalist. And she'll probably want us to gather stuff, so whatever I see, I just grab now. Oh, berries. Because we're, we're going to be able to make medicine and such later on, likely. And booze. There's going to be booze. <laughs> All the booze. Um, speaking of, where... No, quests. Okay, so... They're just back at the village. Um, in that case, let me finish this one first. There's big bamboo here. Yeah, I need an iron axe for that one. Fair enough. Oh, can't pluck those. <laughs> I keep bumping around. <laughs> Watch out for that tree gorge, yeah. Uh, let me see, I came from here. And you can climb pretty well, but the fall damage is also pretty high. Uh, the thing is, she is the goddess of foxes. Uh, I don't really want to kill the foxes right now. <laughs> I, f I have a feeling that's not going to be a good idea. I don't know how, su how superstitious you need to be. Hey, wait, what? Wasabi? Oh, yeah. I'll take it. So what is my bonus right now? Yeah. Well, honestly, the so the wasabi we get here in stores and like well. Western countries is often diluted because wasabi itself is actually quite hard to grow and expensive. Um, God, it has a cousin here in Europe. What's it called? I know what it's called in Dutch and I know what it's called in German, but I can't think of the. It's like a, a white root. Very also spicy, but not as spicy as wasabi. Um, the offering has been made. In Darius, please, you have your blessing and my respect. It's just a trifle, just a cooked egg. Well, there you go, now it's gone. <laughs> but you did something the locals have forgotten about. Uh, you basically need to find all the shrines to get a good buff. Uh, no, it's not a radish. 
It's not, it's not reddish. Um, hold on. Um, let me see here. Because English horseradish. There we go. Well, this yeah, you're right. It is a radish. I just had something else in mind. It's a horseradish. It's not them, but an outsider got blessed by her and I follow her judgment. Okay, so that one's done. Now we need to talk to the uh, the herbalist. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Oh, that's not her. Sorry. Um, my mistake. That's that's her. Okay. Ma'am, come down from there. A man is dying. I want to help him. What exactly happened to him? He ate some mushrooms. He ate poisonous mushrooms he picked in the forest. Oh, you mean old Tikabi, right? There are medicines that might help him, but it could be difficult. Can you make them? Of course I can, but you have to decide which one to choose. How can I choose between healers? Uh, between medicines? I'm not a healer. One gives a tiny chance for survival, but he'll definitely suffer a lot. There's no guarantee it will be successful. The other will take away his pain. He'll suffer less, but he'll die. Oh, okay. Yeah, what do we pick here? Hey, mouse! Crafting? Oh, yeah. I'm just, you know, I just started, so I only built like 10 buildings. <laughs> we're, all, we're almost <laughs> at a good beginning. Oh, what to choose, what to choose. So a tiny chance of survival, but a horrible pain. Or just certain death and but painless. Uh, this game is actually a whole lot like Medieval Dynasty, with a couple of changes. Uh, and honestly, I'm so relieved that it has less yapping from the NPCs. Sure, we got like a starting story, but nobody's sharing their entire life story to me when we just met. <laughs> Can I, like, talk to someone about this before I make a decision? Uh. So, here's the thing. He basically points at himself because his family, he wanted to, you know, there's a lack of food. And he wanted to give his family, you know, one less mouth to feed. He's an old man, and so he chose that for himself. But on the one hand, I'm building a whole new village. There's not going to be a lack of food anytime. <laughs> I just... I just... The, the, the way it's voiced just means I think this is probably the right choice. There's no meditate on the question. <laughs> uh, you know what? I just want to see what happens if we pick this one. We're just going to give him a chance. Gobo roots. Okay. Um, didn't I have some of have we already cooked all of those? Oh, oh. check Wait, that's a wasabi 
Maybe I should make sure she's actually cutting down trees instead of bamboo. Oh, I thought it's... Yeah, okay, I didn't turn that on. Why is there only eight? Anyway, um... Gobo roots, right. Do we have any? Yes. Yeah, that's poisonous. We might not want to put that in the food chest. Somehow that seems like a good idea. What's this straw? I have the roots. I just chose the one I was the most curious about. Gather all the wasabi because it's going to be very expensive in the future. That's true. Almost done. Yeah, yeah. Give this antidote to the sick man. He'll suffer a lot. Great. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. Yeah, we're going to break all these houses down and build new ones. It's going to be a nice village. Uh, hold, wait. Oops, there we are. How could you? Oh dear. I gave him an antidote. He's very mad. We'll all die. Oh no, it hurts again. Uh, talk to him. Oh. There. Um, he looks more alive, right? Well, isn't that a surprise? I didn't know the old man had it in him. What's next for him? He'll probably live, but don't expect him to be grateful. A cart into his family and Aratani when he gets better. Okay. I was thinking he could live here where we'll have all the food and it'll be great. I'll build him a house. Okay. Uh, he took the risk and saved his life. People here won't forget that. Okay. So there's no negative consequences. Oh, that's good. Can I steal your bucket? I <laughs> didn't need any buckets. Hikar! <laughs> Make fake wasabi. Yeah. Well, the lord that destroyed it is dead. They defeated him. However, a lot of people died and... Uh... Oh, it's a stick. Um... And the village burned. Basically. Make some new straw. Um, so what happened was that uh, one guy started an uprising against the local lords. Everyone joined in. Well, maybe not everyone yet, but um, they hanged him. And then people got really mad because he was well liked. So he became a martyr and they uh, defeated the Lord. So that was one of the things in, this, in the beginning. There's no Lord to keep us from settling here. So it's a peasant's kingdom. And there's no village council to stop us from building our own village here. So it's a bit double, isn't it? It's fun though. Okay, so who we have left? The warrior. So we have a quest them here. Um Reach Dynasty Legend 5 by helping villagers. What level are we now? Four. Okay. Oh, I thought we made need to more, um, more villagers. Mm. I 
don't like how many spears I have. Let me uh, make some. That is a better viewpoint. There's also a brewery and a tavern, Edgar. Or wasabi. We're gonna be rich. <laughs> there is gonna be trading in the game. No, I should actually check. I don't know how to um, upgrade this. Uh, here I have points, but no, uh, nothing to put it in. It'll probably come later. So we found the two shrines here. But no places of power yet. There might be more shrines actually. to see if there's boars. That boar got me on one hit. They're also quite hard to see. There's a... Is there a tent? All the way at the top? not go up here. There we go. Bit too steep, I guess. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I want to see what the tent is. Eagle sounds. Oh, it's not a tent. It's a shrine. Um, but no way to open it. That's probably part of a quest then. Can't pick the daffodils either. If we don't fall to our death here, it might not be the smartest route to take. I also don't want to go all the way around, because, you know, force. The longer the distance I take... Every stone is making me paranoid, honestly. Oh, come on, I hit him right in the head. Oh, I don't see him anymore. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hold on. 
Mm. Give me back my spear. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Give me back my spears. I said give me back my spears. Okay, now I need to go back up there. Come on, climb, climb. No, don't <gasps> jump. Ow. Oh, I'm almost dead. Give me a moment to get some health before I die. <laughs> he had three spears in his head, the bastard. <laughs> How much food do I have? Not a whole lot. Um, is there a way for me to get up there safely? Because I would like to get that food there. And not die. There you go. That's better. Oh no, wait. I need to just press E. The problem is that the spear is under here, I think. Oh, well, I'll make new ones. Okay, I think I got them back and I got quite some meat. Very good. And then I fell to my death. <laughs> okay. Um, not very happy with how low my health is, but... Because this is boar country. Well, there's another deer. It they take quite a few spears. Oh, button. Ah, shit! He ran right into a boar. Yeah, okay. I need some kind of armor or a better weapon. Well, preferably some armor would be great. Oh. And maybe some better shoes to jump down places. <laughs> I'm gonna let me let me save here actually. All grass. Oh, it's just grass. Can I just climb up here? There we go. Come on. Almost. There you go. Okay, found you. <laughs> what a way to go. Well, do you know why the pigs are always mad at everyone? Because everyone always says they're such a bore. Ha! <laughs> ah, good one. So Shiki told me you might need some help. I don't need help from anyone. And right now I'm busy with the damn kit. 
Damn kid, there's no one here. Damn wimp more like it. Uh, Kikumatsu, I think that's the one we found earlier. Told him to go and practice hunting, shorting, sweet time. Alright, so where is he? Probably hiding in the hills behind the hunting hut and whimpering. How long has he been away? Long enough and I see he's not the only one wasting my time. Well, I guess we can go look for him, I guess. I found the sake! <laughs> Okay, what happens if we drink that? I get my health back. That's good. Do we have more? No, oh, that's not good. Okay, I got me a good bottle. Oh, some arrows. Can it come in handy? Does he have a bow? Cause I would love one. can just take all the stuff without them being bothered about it. At least I hope so. But I saved before going up here, so it'll be fine. Okay, the rest is all not uh, lootable. Maybe something up here? Uh, no, this is just a watchtower. Well, that Sake did its job. Nima Thief Simulator always. Um, okay, well, oh, he's that away. Uh, I still have a couple of spears, so we'll be okay. And then it got dark. Um, Kenjo told me he gave you a task. Yes, he told me to hunt and bring in three pieces of cooked meat. To make me tougher, I said. It's really hard. Be distraught. I know I should be brave, but my father, when he was still alive, told me it's wrong to kill animals. It's stupid, I know. Then why are you learning under the hunter? Like, look it, perhaps I could do it for you. Thank you, I guess. But what are you going to do when you get the next task? Apparently Genja does it always bare hands because he can't bother to give me a knife. Uh, where can I find something to hunt? Plenty of hares. Okay. Small and quick, but they ha don't have much meat. Look for deer. Please tell me you decide. I don't want to know. Um, give cooked meat. Well, okay. Uh, hold on. Can I just... Because I, yeah, I have meat on me, so we I already hunted a bunch. Hey, Sim! Well, that's a nice surprise. And Mike, too! Wow, double by me right there. No, I wasn't being sneaky. They, uh... You can simply just take stuff. Yeah, this game is a lot of fun. So, before I started, I didn't read any reviews. I almost never do unless I'm I don't, not sure yet I want to play something. But I saw it was mixed. And I'm like, it looks great. It needs some optimizing. I couldn't play it on, on best. I had to turn down the shadows a bit, but that was all. 
And that's more likely thanks to the sunrise and sunset. But it looks great. Uh, the storyline is good. The people talk well. They actually have good... Um, oh, let me just cook them all. Um, what do you say? They, ha um, they have good voice acting. Uh, some good cutscenes too. I don't get it. Did a 24 hour stream that didn't get streamed? Oh my god, just, you're not serious. That's horrible. Let me turn on the light. There you go. Uh, I mean, are there, is there room for improvement? Absolutely, but this is early access. Great. Did you stream it, uh, or did you record it, Sim? I might have missed the notification because I was working on my own. Oh, Mike, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, here's the meat. Uh, I'll take it to him right away. Have you eaten today? Don't worry about me, since mom and dad died, I got used to it. I can go for two days without food, you know. Kenju says it's a sign of discipline. And he says, what? Kenju's using you. Eat the meat, you need the strength. Tough it out, after all. Take the meat to Genjo. I could just give him extra. This is the kind of choice. I mean, I have like 15 more in my bag. I can give him three more. That should be an option. <laughs> a mental health stream? Well, that's important too, absolutely. Um, you know what? Take the meat to Kenjo. Just... Good luck. Uh, it It was his job, after all, to bring him the meat. I couldn't do a 24 hour stream. Uh, no way. So many quests, so few payouts. Yeah, I need to. So, what I need to do is uh, get my dynasty level up so I can unlock more. And hello, Mike. For eight months. My goodness. Uh, he will bring you the meat. Wait, how do you know that? I told him to. He actually listens. Well, it seems you can be useful. There it is. Waiting for that one. Uh, you must have scared him out of his pants. No, not really. Uh, you seem worthy. Come back if you ever need advice on how to set up a proper outpost like mine. Oh, we unlocked a trap. It's also very dark. That's still locked. I make a temporary tent. Really? I'm short on grass. Leave me. Um, I think there was a whole bunch over here. <laughs> well, I hope you can uh, get some sleep, actually, Mike, if you did a 24-hour stream. My goodness. I made straw out of all the grass, that's why I don't have any. Uh, no, I don't want to build another one. I want to sleep in this one. Make it daytime. It seems to me there's better ways to crawl out of the tent, but sure. Okay, 
eat some. More poisonous mushroom. I wonder what we can do with it. Okay, let's go uh, tell them we were done. I got a lot done this uh, this stream. Built two houses, which we need a lot more because we need more people. I got all the storage buildings up, so water, food, general, and wood. And I got the uh, the, the wood cutter, the carpentry uh, building up. Now I just need to for foraging, yeah, foraging hut. I started it. I just need to. Grab some extra grass and we can sort. I did the first load of quests. I think if I turn this one in, we might reach that level 5. Uh, so if we did a quest, let me save the game real quick. Uh, just in case we run into a boar, I don't want to have to do it again. Downloading the game now? Nice. Yeah, just keep in mind it's early access. So, while it's running well, a lot of the content is still coming. But as long as you can keep that in mind, I don't see a single problem with the game. Hmm. Maybe it's a little bit expensive for an early access game. It what is it? 30 bucks? Something like that? But it's a big game, so it's gonna be popular, I don't yeah. Hey you bought three games, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your wallet. Well, at least you can see if you'd like it. But uh instead of finding out afterwards. So nowadays you can uh, luckily if you don't like a game, you can give it back. Well, uh, refund it. That's the word I was looking for. Getting a bit late. <laughs> hey, Sapphire. Okay, let's... Uh... Yeah, because it's almost, it's almost half to three. And I promised Cody I would join him for some Palea. So, I won't stream it because... I'm already losing my voice. Right, no, that's just an email. That can wait. Just checking if I got a message. Um. Okay, I've been helping the neighbors. Okay, I helped the Miko. Um. Chiyome told me everything about how you honored the goddess in the shrine. It was just a cook deck. Yeah, that's true. It was more than most here would do. Some were ashamed by the neglect of Inari when they heard about you. Well, good. I think the shrine will have more visitors from now on. I had an encounter with Kenjo. Did he mention everything? Always happy with you. Keep praising you wherever he goes. The man's a lot of influence here. It was clever of you to humor him. It's a pity about the boy, though. Yeah. And I could have just given him food, but yeah. It wasn't an option, unfortunately. There's a tough time the boar has to learn. Sure, sure, but at what cost? So, has Matsumaru mentioned anything? Yes, the business about old Tikubi. He's quite the gossip, told everyone what she did. I still don't know if I did the right thing, no. The old man is suffering, but alive. His family will be grateful. They will speak for you, as will Matsumaru. It was a difficult decision, yet you had the courage to make it. Yeah, in, in the end, no matter what choice you make here, they're still gonna speak up for you. Otherwise, you're stuck. You won't be able to continue the game. Do you think we can get it to 50 likes before we... Oh, we can. There we go. 50 likes. Thanks, everyone. That's so awesome. It was a difficult decision, yet you had the courage to make it. This is the mark of a leader. That sounds true. Uh, do you think I can count on the support of the locals now? I 
think they'll support you. I even know someone who would be happy to join your village. Who? My sister, Sayuri. She's excited about your plans. She loves old Suzuki and wants to thrive once more. Talk to her. Oh, it's the beginning of new Suzuki. Well, we still need a name for it, but I'll think of that next time. Rob will probably think of the perfect name for this, <laughs> this half burned down, half built up village. So, uh, for those of you who just joined, uh, this was uh, the first house I built. And this is the second one. That's where I live. And this is the hangman's noose. And this is the village bell. <laughs> we got a well. I also need more water, probably. Uh, wood storage, water storage, food storage. And... Over here is the woodcutter. Wait, the workbench. Um, let me see actually, because we unlocked some new stuff, right? Uh, hair trap box. That's what we unlocked. This. Oh yeah, the. Special projects, people are going to be very happy if, if you do special projects, like build a bridge, build a watchtower. Um, oh yeah, there's the farming. Compost workstation. Haystacks. Fishing racks. Drying rack. I can do that in my in, in my pocket though. We'll have to figure out if it's better. Uh, training. Guard tower is still blocked. Jet. Those are decorations. We'll, we'll figure that out too. Buildings. We still only have the small house. But we unlocked the hunter's hut. So I can build that next time along with the rest of the foraging hut. Uh, the tavern's gonna need some more. And the ice storage and armory also gonna take some more. But I built all of these. Alright, nice! I think that's uh, a perfect ending to a very good start. If I do say so myself. So thank you everyone very much for watching. I hope you... Uh, people who are buying it will enjoy the game as well. Oh man, someone get the lawnmower. <laughs> I like it. Can I look into the camera? Yes, I can. Oh, she has a quest for me. Yeah, the village needs a name. The beautiful bell. I'm trying to take a picture, but she keeps walking into it with her gigantic... Uh... Oh, actually, there's a way to turn off the heart. I'll figure it out. Everyone, as always, I'll be on the Discord for a bit longer. Um, if you're in any way interested in playing Palia, do hop in and join the entire club that I've been gathering on there playing Palia. I will be getting back to streaming that sometime as well. I just, uh, I'll definitely continue with this one. I want to see the rest. Oh, uh, just, I want to check one more thing. Did we unlock more? Okay, we unlocked way of the. Haggling price. Your initial relationship with people is now at least neutral instead of suspicious. Can I unlock that one? That sounds a lot better than Haggler. I don't care much about the money. No, there's no other skills, but they might be added in the future. So we do have the two shrines. Both are print sprinting speed. Okay, that's what I was curious about. <laughs> all right everyone thank you so much for watching thank you for the 50 likes i'll see you all on the discord and in the next stream i'll be returning to this one for sure because i'm having a lot of fun um also other games i'll have to see when i make time for those and uh yeah it's all good i'll see you all next time
denied it for once. 